हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज अस्टर तिवारी हियर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द कम्युनिकेशन एंड एजुकेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी सो वी आर टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द रिव्यू ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज सी ई टी कम्युनिकेशन एंड एजुकेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी so before uh, discussing the chapter we will see what are the contents are coming under the first chapter contents are we will see the definition of communication meaning of communication process of communication elements of communication process types of communication facilitators of communication barriers of communications methods of methods to overcome barriers of communication techniques of effective communication techniques of therapeutic communication so these all are the contents so we will start the chapter about the review of communication process before knowing the communication process we should know about the what is communication according to you and according to we what us what is communication communication means is contact touch means we are having the touch or we are having the contact with the other person with which way so here we will see the introduction about the communication so here you can see the communication is the word that is derived from the latin word that means communis the meaning of communis in the latin that is common and next line you can see communication is the essential for an individual progress and is considered the foundation for the good interpersonal human relationship yeah it is a foundation for good interpersonal uh, human relationship for example you have been come into the college in the hostel or uh, into the hostel before starting the uh, your before establishing your relationship you have been started talking to your friends means uh you have said what is your name and from where you are you have done your intermediate from where means you have started the communication from with other means there you have started the communication then only you have got the friends means you have started you have established your relationship that means you got a friend means that here the communication is only giving you the foundation for establishing the interpersonal relationship isn't it so recently the communication has been recognized as an integral part integral part means i'll repeat the uh, recently communication has been recognized as an integral part in each field of practice and has therefore matured into the interdisciplinary science with the development of newer method of communication and information here means the communication it, it has been recognized as the integral part means it is not differ in any field means communication in each and every field it will be the same okay so this uh, the meaning of this line is will be the uh, one only that is the integral part means it is the same means it is a not differ from uh, in any field if you if you'll go if you are starting the communication it will be the same in each and every field and so why it has been uh, added in the nursing field why we are studying in the nursing okay so nursing is a discipline that compels its professional to continuously use communication in their day to day duties means if you are as a nurse or bedside nurse or the administrator nurse or as a as a educator nurse educator so nursing is a discipline it is enforcing the professionals means they have to continue to use communication they should use the communication continuously and some studies they and some research findings they are also uh, suggest that the patient satisfactions largely depends on the nurses communication means the if the nurse is having the better communication technique that will give the satisfaction to the patient so that's why it has been added in the nursing that the nurse should also have the some sound of knowledge about the communication better knowledge of communication that that's why the communication subject it has been added for the nurses also understood 
so next we will see the definition of communication so definition first one is given by the robert anderson there are so many definition in your book you can refer that also so here the, this is a very simple you can by the reading itself you can understand about it that is the communication it is a is the interchange of thoughts opinions or the information by speech writing or the signs it is a communication is a interchange of thoughts means if you you are interacting with the, uh, another person you will exchange or your thoughts opinion feelings speech so that can be through the speech writing or any signs so this definition is given by the robert anderson and se second definition communication is the transmission of interchange of facts ideas feeling or course of action okay so this is the simple definition you have to uh, learn one definition next uh, we are uh, going to see the meaning of communication meaning of communication is uh, very easy the process through which communication is a process as in the chapter only uh, starting of the chapter we have seen that is the communication is a process isn't it the uh, process through which individual mutually mutually means parasparic means uh, from the both side from the sender to the receiver means from the both side it has to be uh, exchange their ideas values thoughts feelings and the action with one or more people and second one is the transfer of information from sender to receiver so that it is understood in the right context means the if the only sender is there no receiver is there so that means it is not a communication process understood so the both should, should be there sender and receiver they both are the important factor or important element we can say in the communication process and uh, the uh, communication is a process that initiates or that stimulates we can say the transmitting and the receiving of the any information which you want to share uh, with the other or one or more people okay then the uh, last point is the, the process or uh, the communication is the process of sharing of information ideas and attitudes between individuals next uh, we are going to see the process of communication the process of communication is a complex ongoing dynamic and the multidimensional human interaction so this is a simple line and here we will this is important here you have to be attentive means how the communication process is going on isn't it the communication process begins with the referent begins means communication process is started with the referent who gives a stimulus what is the stimulus means who is provoking to communicate isn't it to the sender means uh, for an example i want to say that uh, if uh, you need a pen uh, if you uh, or you don't have money you will ask to your father that uh, uh, papa that uh, give me 5 rupees i want uh, to buy a pen means your need has provo provoked to talk to your father for money isn't it means you have communicated to your father for a money so here the stimulus will be your need your uh, pen need isn't it so referent will be your need so the referent means the factor who is stimulating stimulating for the process of communication begins which provokes the individual or a person to begins the communication process so that is referent okay then uh, here the uh, person will start the communication process to the sender sender send the message then the followed by sender encode the message sender will send the message and sending it through the appropriate channel to the recipient so sender will send the message through an appropriate channel like here you can uh, like uh, i am uh, teaching you with the net or online we can say so this is a channel we can say through online channel or through the uh, internet connection we are interacting with each other so this is the proper channel so channel can be the different types that later we will discuss and uh, next to the uh, uh, next the recipient decodes the message Re recipient will understand the message what the sender has sent what the sender has encode the message for the receiver so here the receiver or recipi recipient will decode the message and inter interpret it who the the recipient will understand the message and after understanding the message the recipient will send the re, uh, send the feedback to the sender again okay using an through an appropriate channel 
so here we can uh, see that the this cycle uh, this cycle process continues till the desired purpose of the communication is achieved by the sender or by the recipient means if the, you have started the communication with any person that means it has some uh, goal isn't it to achieve that goal only you are uh, communicating with that person so if once the uh, cycle of the uh, cycle of the communication process will uh, uh, till that time uh, means you your desired purpose it ha it has to be achieved till that the your uh, continuous communication process will be held next uh, we will see the so these are the some elements we can say whatever i have taught that in the uh, flow chart you can understand referent it will give uh, stimulates to the sender the sender will start the communication and uh, it it will encode the message and it will send the message to the recipient and recipient will uh, decode the message and it will uh, give the feedback to the sender so this is this is a process of communication in short in the flow chart for better understanding and this is the image that is in the book you can also understand by the book also so this is the referent referent means stimulus that is uh, stimulating to the sender then sender will encode the message through the proper channel message channel then the message will be decoded by the recipient the person will receive the message and after decoding he, the person receiver will send the feedback to the sender so this is the proper process we can say and the surrounding is the environment will be there next we will discuss about the elements of communication process so whatever i, I have told that uh, the referent sender message channel receiver feedback and confounding elements so these all are the elements of communication each and every elements are very important for the completing a communication process we will discuss one by one what is a referent i think in the process only you have uh, understood about that so we will discuss one by one what is ref referent uh, referent it is a motivates means uh, already we have seen that is the stimulus it motivates the sender or receiver to share in the uh, information means that can be message object sound si sights time schedule ideas perceptions sensations emotions odor etc so that may initiate communication so all these factors so uh, whatever the things here in the bracket these all are the we can say stimulus or the referent they are initi they are initiating the send initiating the person to take a initiation for communication referent here the same thing we can th see it is a triggering factor for the communication process and the knowledge of the referent help the sender to receive and the perceive develop and organize communication process more effectively okay so for your better understanding i want to give an example for a referent like if you are in the ward you are seeing a, a patient who uh, who is in uh, difficulty in breathing so who is having difficulty in breathing so you you are seeing that patient he is having the uh, breathing difficulty so you, you will go to the patient and you will ask that uh, baba uh, what happened or by the name if you are knowing that uh, uh, what happened to you so like you you have seen the patient with the difficult uh, breathing in difficulty means breathing in difficulty you have sight means you have seen that patient like he is in difficulty he is having uh, breathing difficulty means the you have sighted so sight will be the referent you have will be the stimulus means he has provoked you to talk with the patient understood so this is the example for the referent so next you will see the sender a sender is a person who encode who encodes and send the message to expected receiver through a appropriate channel that uh, is very simple that you can understand the message delivered by the sender serves as a referent to the receiver okay means if the sender has uh, sender has sent 
sender has sent the message to the receiver so it will act as a referent for the receiver okay next to third one is message this is a also very important aspect or important content of the uh, communication process message is the content or uh, content of communication what matter we can say for the communication process and may contain verbal or non verbal or the symbolic language it is an essential elements of communication process fourth one is the channel channel is a medium through which a message is sent that i have already given you an example uh, send or receive between two or more people several channels can be used to send uh, receive the message that is by seeing hearing touching smelling and tasting it is believed that when a sender uses more than one channel the message is delivered more effectively and com uh, and the communication is smoother here we can take an example like i am uh, teaching you with the online uh, i am taking uh, online classes like i am speaking and here in front of you one ppt is going on means you are seeing also and you are listening also so here we are using the two channels that we can say visual and the auditory two channels we are using so that is the more effective or otherwise if we if uh, simply i am speaking and in front of you nothing is there so you can't understand the matter properly okay so this is the important factor means the if the more channel we are using for the communication that will be the good for better understanding and that the communication process will be smoother so here the channels they are uh, all four uh, four types that is the visual channels auditory channels tactile channels and the combined channels so we will see one by one what is visual channel by the name it's, uh, itself you can understand about it visual channels of communication are considered to be the most primitive because they have been used since before language were developed isn't it means before language were not there so uh, they were uh, people were uh, by the seeing only they were communicating with each and uh, each another some of the non verbal channels are facial expressions body languages posture gestures pictures written sim symbols and the words etc for an example uh, like uh, <coughs> if you are in the ward you are uh, seeing a patient who is co uh, continuously he, the person who is changing their positions and he has uh, the person has kept uh, uh, her his or her hand on their abdomen or he is continuously changing their position so by the seeing itself you can understand that the patient or the person is having some a uh, pain or difficulty in his or her abdomen isn't it so by the seeing itself you, ha you have got the knowledge that the person is having abdominal pain isn't it so that is visual by the seeing only you understand about that understood so next we will see about the auditory channel auditory channels auditory channels by the name itself it, it can be uh, the communication process will be by the listening uh, auditory channels are used to send or receive verbal communication uh, that visual communication is we can say that is non verbal communication and here the auditory channels will be the verbal communication auditory channels are mo more most frequently used channel of communication involve using spoken words and the sounds to transmit message between two or more individual okay so for an example you are in the ward and if you want to collect the history from the patient so you can't uh, collect the history by the visual channel isn't it you have to use the auditory channel for the proper communication or to collect the history so this is the example for the auditory channel means you have to communicate you have to speak that will be the verbal you have to speak verbal communication will be there for the collecting the history about the patient okay so next channel is that is tactile channel tactile by the name itself you can uh, tactile meaning is touch by the touching the uh, touching the person you can uh, share your feeling or ideas or you are conveying the message through touch so that means it is a 
tactile channel for an example if you want to show, uh, show sympathy to someone that who is in the grief or who is sad so if you will keep your hand keep your hand over the person so that that means it is uh, giving a message that you are means uh, having sim sympath sim sympathy for that particular person okay so next uh, channel that we will see that is the uh, combined channel combined by the name itself you can know as the same uh, as the name suggested these are the use of more than one channels of communication at any given instant to send or receive messages means every channels if we are using tactile and uh, uh, auditory and the uh, visual channels so that will be the more effective communication stronger means of effective communication okay so these will are the we can say the types of channel we were using that was the four, four types we can revise that visual channel auditory channel tactile channels and combined channels fifth one we will see that is receiver receiver is an individual or a group of individual intended to receive or decode and interpret the message sent by the sender that is a very simple you can understand and receiver is also known as a decoder okay because he is decoding the message which were uh, encoded by the sender sender has uh, encoded the message and the receiver is decoding the message in uh, his or her own language or better understanding he will encode the message or encode means we can say explain he will explain in uh, for their better understanding he will explain the message which were sent by the which were uh, encoded by the sender okay in the communication process next sixth one is the feedback this is a very important aspect feedback is the written message sent by the receiver Reci recipient who has re received received the message by the sender so the person who is received the message he, the person will send the feedback to the sender with the proper uh, cha proper channel used and it is the most essential element of the communication process and it shows that the receiver has understood the primary message means if once the sender has sent the message to the receiver receiver has uh, got the message and if the receiver is sending the feedback to the uh, feedback to the sender so that means the receiver has understood the matter whatever the sender has sent okay send and the sender and communication process is now considered complete means one process or one cycle of communication you can consider that means after feedback it has been completed okay a successful communication must be two way process means not only by the if the uh, only sender is uh, sending the message and receiver only re receiving the message he is not giving the feedback he or she is not giving the feedback so that means it is not the two way okay so always the uh, pro process uh, of communication will be in the two way next is seventh one we will see that is the confounding elements these elements are not uh, the direct part of the flow of communication means it is uh, it is influencing the communication but indirectly okay so how it is communication if the person who is from the any other culture or any other society so that person will not be able to explore their ideas or feelings to uh, any those who are having the different culture or different society we can take an example like uh, uh, a indian woman who is having some gynecological problem or if she is going to the uh, gynecologist who is a male so she will not be uh, open his or her, her feeling with a male doctor or gynecologist who is in front of her so that is the factor that we can say that is the cultural factor or the indian indian culture woman is there so she will not be able to explore his or uh, explore her feelings or problem who, who whatever she is having in front of the male gynecologist and environment is also uh, uh, playing a very important role in the communication process like uh, noise is there so communication ca can't be take uh, can't be proper communication uh, like in the ward if the so much noisy ward is there so nurse will not be able to communicate with the patient properly okay so this is the confounding elements this is a very important uh, elements so these all are about the today's topic and the types of communication 
here the types of communication has been divided into four ty types that is the uh, communication it is based on the means of delivering the message and the based on the purpose of communication and the based on the levels of communication and the based on the patterns of communication and the, this detail of these uh, types we will discuss tomorrow and uh, uh, today's class is finished now so thank you all all i hope you all are have understood the class if you people are having any doubts you can ask to me